Angela Davis is an African-American activist for civil rights and a feminist. She is the author of several books, including Angela Davis, an autobiography in 1974, Women, Race, and Class, 1980, Women, Culture, and Politics, 1989, Are Prisons Obsolete, 2003, Abolition Democracy, 2005, and The Meaning of Freedom, 2012. She was born on January 26, 1944 in Alabama and joined the U.S. Communist Party. She fought for civil rights because she had personally dealt with discrimination growing up in an area called Dynamite Hill where homes were bombed by the Ku Klux Klan. She studied philosophy at Brandeis University in Massachusetts. In the late 1960s, she then moved to join a group called the Black Panthers at the University of California. She studied abroad for a year in France and finished magna cum laude in 1965. Two years before, she became moved by the deaths of the bombings of a few girls she knew in a church in her hometown. She took matters into her own hands and joined the civil rights movement. She also worked with the Kayla Mumu Club, which was a branch of the Communist Party of Black People. Her being a communist caused her to be fired from teaching at UCLA. She fought to get her job back and eventually stopped teaching in 1970. She began fighting to improve the conditions of inmates in prisons during the 1970s. She became active in her campaign to release the prison inmates, John W. Kluket, Slita Drumgo, and George Lester Jackson, the Soledad brothers. They were African Americans and members of the Black Panther Party. They were wrongfully accused of killing a white prison guard in 1969 because of their race. Angela Davis and Jackson began sending love letters to each other. In August, Jackson's brother broke into the courtroom and tried to free the inmates. He held hostages at gunpoint and a couple of people were killed. The police then murdered Jackson. Angela Davis was charged with first degree murder and kidnapping but she was only found guilty of supplying the weapons to the courtroom murders. She spent 18 months in the Women's Detention Center and was released in 1972 with a $100,000 bail. She began teaching Women's and Ethnic Studies from 1977 to 2008 at the University of California. She lectured on ac activism on race and women's rights in the criminal justice system. In 1980 and 1984, Davis ran for Vice President of the United States for the Communist Party. She was also a professor of feminist studies. In 2017, she spoke at the Women's March in Washington, D.C. after President Donald Trump's inauguration. And I think that feminism has a lot to do with this. this uh, and, and when I say feminism, I'm not speaking of mainstream feminism. I'm not mm. speaking of the feminism that was represented, that has been represented by figures like um, Hillary Clinton. I'm mm. talking about a feminism from below, mm -hmm. a feminism that has been generated uh, by um, women of col color, black women, uh, Latina uh, women, Muslim mm. uh, women, um, Native American women, one that uh, emphasizes the interconnections of, 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 of all social justice struggles mm. uh, and the fact that one cannot consider gender aside from race and class.